yeah, I'm getting the hand of my water training, and we meet a completely new girl. Boy, isn't this going to be a great day. What is that sound? I don't know why, it's like, I'm thinking this as a water temple, so I'm thinking, uh, like, coming down here, it's like, Yo, Asta, Noel, you better get them iron boots down there, because you're about to go for a swim in that fucking dungeon. So, I actually did like this chapter a lot. I thought that, you know, this one was going to be an entire, like, you know, training montage chapter, you know. It's going to be a montage, and finding out about this little friend that they have that's like, oh, by the way, and all that, I'm actually trying to be an idol, like, I'm, I'm Kahono, like, you know, I want to be friends with you guys, and all that, you know, we're 15 as well, and I like how they introduce themselves, it's like, oh, like, obviously Noel's the one that introduces them, saying, well, I'm Noel, and this is Dorkster, and it's like, you know, oh, that's Dorkster, that's an old name, it's like, that's just like, that's the fucking name, and she's like, explaining, like, I want to be, like, a singing, dancing, magical, uh, uh, using idol, and it's just like, they're both like, yeah, well, what the fuck is an idol? Like, and they're like, this is like a rage. Like, this is the whole big popular thing going on right now. It's like, yeah, it's a big part of like the like the noble realm right now. And it's like, you know, I get to make myself super rich. And it's like, oh, so the entire thing of this character is like, she likes money. She wants to be at that. And like, and that face that she does, like that, that tee hee with the little like tongue out, that is absolutely adorable. I find that funny. It's like this bitch trying to pull some money like that. And finding out that, like, what exactly, like, all of her stuff is focusing on is on a lullaby, which she can actually use song recovery magic. She's able to use it, like, seemingly, like, for what it is, like, you can control the war and everything, and, like, this is a very interesting actual magic to work around. Being able to instantly ha heal Aster immediately, he's like, yo, yo, my, my muscles are, you know, they're all good now. I'm able to do this, and it's just like, yeah, let's be friends. And she was actually teaching, saying, like, you, you need to be relaxed and calm when you're doing this. And it's just like, you know, I listen to the sound of the waves and all that, and it's like, you know, that just, I let myself just feel what I'm feeling. And it's like, you need concentration, calm from the heart, from the relax. And just ask, just like, yeah, well, I, I don't, like, I, I'm best to me when I'm not thinking about anything at all like that. It's like, like I'm about to say with Noel, I was like, shut the fuck up, ass. <laughs> you're a special case, eh? Uh, we'll talk, we'll talk with you later. And this is where we find out actually why the like the family hates her so much. It's like this is why they have so much of like a gripe against her. And it's like you know you know they call they called your mother the steel the steel warrior princess. And I never thought you know that they'd leave you behind. It's someone as useless as you. And that I'm guessing from there from the shadowy figure is from the father. And it's like literally this is where we get to see the other brothers. And the sister, and it's like, you know, there's no way I'm going to accept family like you. And it's like, you killed, uh, you know, our mother. So I'm guessing this is what happened, is that she died of childbirth, or like, like something like that. This is what exactly, like, you know, this would be the last thing she'd leave behind. So I'm very shocked to see that. It's like, you, that this is how the family treats her. Because, like, obviously, this is one thing, is it, uh, like, right here. It's that, like obviously, the, all of these people, they really cared about their mother. They really, you know... They were like, you know, they apple to eye, like, she, they generally loved her mother, and, you know, they were all, like, very, you know, proud people. It's like, you know, that's probably what they lived for for the most of the time. It was like, you know, we do this just to get praised by her mother, because our father doesn't give a shit. I doubt he gives a crap. And then finding out that Noelle was the one to be born, and she doesn't live up to that legacy of what she was, because, like, that's, you know, she isn't that, like, strong. She isn't, like, you know, she can't control her magic, and that's the thing. And it's just like, oh, I'll try practicing a bit more. And it's like, you know what? Just release your magic. And like, no, I just go at it. And it's like, that's the thing. You're cut. You're thinking too much about containing it. And it's like, you know, I'm gonna ha like, don't worry. I'll get you out of there if anything like happens. And so, like, it goes fucking ballistic right there. And she's like, this isn't gonna work. You know, how can I relax in a situation like this? And it's like, I guess I can do it. I mean, I I, I don't have any happy memories. I don't have anything to go by. And then I love the entire like, like all the black balls come out of there like that. You got. All of the warriors saying, yo, you got you got something like you think you call yourself the black bull, you know, come out there and you know, I'll teach you the final like, yeah, I'll let you have this, eat this, you know. Like they're all going out there and it's like, come on, you're like, like I'll like do this shit with you. And it's like even all of them, it's just like that was nice, like seeing like all of them and it's just like even as I was saying, like what the one thing how we saw like Yami, how he introduced saying like you're the first failure of the royal I've ever seen, he's like smoking <sighs> You come with me, you, uh, you know, you feel that fighting, you, you're my balls, you come, you come with me, like that, I, I love that with Yami, it's just like, I've got this ragtag bunch of, like, guys that have their own issues, and it's like, nah, 
you come with me, you sort this out, and it's just like, and then she thinks of Asta, and you're like, oh, I like that, it's like, you know, they acknowledge me, they gave me a mission, I want to help them, and she finally does it, she learns a new spell, which is the Sea Dragon's Cradle, and she's finally, like, contained it into a spear, and she's like, oh, I did it, and then my magic goes, and all that, it's like, oh, shit, there it goes, it's all popped, and Asta, literally like it was, catching him like that it's like yo like you know she knows straight up that's points up there for Aztec because she was blushing and it's just like like you don't touch me guys casually you know you buck and all that it's like you fucking stupid motherfucker and it's like ah you she blushing she's she's losing it like that you know it's Aztec's there being the gentleman for once and then that's the thing like Kahono she just disappears and it's like and this is where we were call, like calling about it, saying like, oh, you got some good friends and all that. It's like, all right, I'll be waiting inside the temple. And I'm like, ooh, we got some shit with this now. It's like, definitely there's some start, like sly little things happening here now. But my guess is that maybe she might be a guardian. She might be actually like someone that going into that temple. Like, I don't like, because it seems like, oh, why would she just say, oh, I wanted to be an idol? I, I believe that's still part of their, like, like personality, but whether or not she's a guardian of that place, or whether or not she's from a rival guild after there, or even if she's part of the Eye of the Midnight Sun, that feel a little bit weird. It's like, why wouldn't I, you know, I the Midnight Sun member actually help them out? Like, you know, we still a little weird to find out. So, so I'm mostly not too sure about, like, you know, what's going on with that. I, like, that's the last one, because I remember a few people saying, like, oh, she's an Eye of the Midnight Sun member, and I'm like, I don't see that. That'd be cool if that's the case, and, you know, I'll fully say, yeah, I fucked up on that part. My part is, like, she's probably either at the rival guild, or she's the guardian of that place, and it's up to her to actually defend the temple. Overall, for, like, for a training, like, chapter, I definitely did, like, you know, it was entirely focusing on Noelle. I like that mode. Also, as well, you got this set up with this new character as well, like, Kohana, and seeing, like, you know, there's some shit with her, and everyone as well, just appreciate it, and finding out, like, you don't need to, like, go into, like, a full massive backstory with, like, Noelle's past and seeing, like, what she's gone through. Like, you can kind of put into pieces together what exactly she did. Yeah, a lot of it, like, the whole failure stuff comes literally because, like, she had so much to live up to, and it also doesn't help that she was the one like that took her mother's life when she was probably in the womb probably the case unless they were out and then she couldn't like she did something but it's honestly just making it sound like like she died when she was trying to give birth to she died during the birthing period so that's a little bit shitty to hear about and all that like 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 to me that that's kind of one of the saddest things like kind of like the world is like you know growing up uh, growing up with loved ones around you even if they are your real parents or not like to me it's like you haven't got anyone lo like loved around you then i like I feel really bad for, like, people like that. Especially, like, you know, for the case of, like, you know, some people don't have a lot in the world, you know? Like, fucking real talk here, I didn't grow up with a lot. Like, you know, I like, I, I grew up just with, like, you know, a mother and a brother. Like, that's all I really had in the world for a good long time of life. And, you know, things have gotten better and better and better throughout my life. And, you know, things are actually real good and all that. And it's just, like, you know, it's like, way better than everything. Like, it's probably, like, the right now, family-wise, it's probably the biggest that, like, you know, I've had it to be. You know, I'm soon to be an uncle and, like, you know, a bunch of crazy stuff's going to be happening in my life soon. So I'm really glad about that. But, you know, especially, like, with Noel and stuff like that, it's, like, just being, like, on your own and just saying, like, oh, you're the weak grunt of the group. That's like, it's like, every time I hear that, it's like, you're all alone and no one will, like, praise or anything like that. It's like, that, that sounds a little, like, that's really depressing to see that. Overall, I did love this chapter, though. It didn't bring so much, though, into it. Like, it was still a nice, enjoyable chapter on its own, though. So I'm going to give this one a 4, 7.5 out of 10. Let me know what you think on this down below. Did you like this? But I the chapter, but that is all for me. So I will be very much watching, as always. I've been your host, Sandra Panda, and I'll catch you guys next time.